Since Tupac's passing, there has been debate on who really got him out on bail. For long, many believed it was Suge Knight who put up the $1.4 million bail to set Tupac free. While this appears to be true, according to Snoop Dogg, it was he who made the call. Suge was told by Snoop Dogg, you powerful. And there's some way that the system would be able to move for us to get him out of there and get him with us. But I think like LeBron, what can make us better? This motherfucker Anthony Davis. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Go get him. Snoop's recollection differs from that of Suge Knight who claims it was Tupac's ex-wife Keisha Morris who played a key role in Tupac coming to Death Row Records. Tupac and Keisha who met in their early 20s decided to get married on April of 1995, four months after Shakur started his sentence. The marriage eventually came to an end and was annulled 10 months later. According to Suge Knight, Morris called the Death Row Records office in 1995 and contacted him personally. Tupac said the only person who can help him is you, please come see him so you can get him out of prison, said Suge Knight during a 2018 interview. Regardless of how much Snoop Dogg factored into Tupac joining Death Row Records, Shakur was set free, Tupac and Snoop Dogg would collaborate on the hit 2 of America's Most Wanted, when all appeared to be well with Death Row's top artist, the dog father and Tupac had a fallout days before Shakur's death. Let us know in the comments below if you think Snoop Dogg made the call to get Tupac out of jail. And as always, like the video and subscribe for more Tupac news.